Hello. I've been walking around this part of town for just over two hours now, trying to find a office building where I was due to sit the pre-selection tests for the, the Concorde to work for the European Commission. Um, the opportunity to sit the tests only comes up very rarely, so I was quite excited about the opportunity, uh, especially since they've actually got a, a test centre in Beijing, which seems to be quite lucky, since that's where I live. But this is the, the test centre, uh, I think for all of Asia, but possibly uh, at least just East Asia, which is kind of a, a big enough area. So anyway, I've been... Uh, my test was due to be at half eight this morning. It's probably coming up to about half nine now. Uh, I got here uh, to the right street at 6.30 uh, because experience tells me that trying to find these places in Beijing is not always so easy. Uh, the street names uh, are often don't really, well the names are fine but the, the, the streets themselves don't really seem to follow logical patterns. Partly because it's a, a big changing city and sometimes I guess you'll have had an old street that's then uh, intersected by one of the ring roads or divided up by some modern uh, city building. So you know, I, it's not so surprising that the city changes and you have to wander around sometimes to find it. Uh, so yes, arrived two hours early and uh, eventually uh, I realised that uh, the building there is number 79 and 77 Suzhou Jie and I'm looking for number 75. So I got there about I guess an hour and 15 minutes before the test started, maybe just an hour. Um, 75 is nowhere to be seen. Uh, the other side of the street is not Tsujoji, it's a different street entirely. And what else? The closest one just behind the trees there that you can't quite see, that's number 77 on the left hand side going up there and then next to it is number 79 so traveling in this direction you'd expect the numbers to go up sadly the next number I could find is number 67 so obviously I then started asking people do you know where number 75 is? no do you know where this building is? no uh, I asked 20-25 people and then somebody eventually pointed me at this building and said that's the one that I'm looking for but the address is actually building B and you probably can't see so well but this building is just all on its own really there's some residential, small scale residential around it and that's about it really so uh, I, with about an hour to go I started dialing the number provided for the test centre and eight or nine tries, nobody was picking up. Um, finally, when somebody did answer, uh, they didn't speak English, sadly. And my Mandarin doesn't stretch to a conversation about where are you when I don't even really know where I am, other than number 77, Sujo Jie, obviously. Uh, I expected the, the test to be in French, and I could live with it being a test of my French, but. I didn't realise it was going to be a, a test of my Chinese as well. And Caroline's doing the test later in the week, so I don't really want to leave without knowing where it is, because obviously she needs to try and find it as well. <coughs> Excuse me. When I get home, I'm going to send an email to complain, because, you know, I, I know places can be difficult to find, that's ordinary. Uh, but they really do need somebody to be able to answer the phone. Uh, it's not like there's a, uh, a lack of people who can, who can speak English here, so it really does just seem like the, the company that they've got to carry out the tests 
must be trying to cut costs. I mean, to put the uh, the test centre all the way over here in the in the west of the city um, for a start suggests that you know they're trying to keep costs as low as possible. Um, I would have thought that if they wanted to make it accessible to people travelling from all over China and all over Asia, they might have picked somewhere that was a bit of a a little bit of a landmark, or at least provided a map with the uh, the confirmation of the the test place. Anyway, the last thing I did was to have a look on uh, Google Maps and see <coughs> excuse me see exactly where I was and then as I was uh, panning out I noticed just out the corner of my eye a name of the building which is quite a long way away uh, on a totally different street but has the same name as the building that I'm looking for so that's where I'm walking to now and we'll see if this is it but yeah um, it'll be interesting to find out. I mean, at least it'll be useful so that I can show Caroline and the other friends that we've got who are sitting the test. And like I say, I'll be emailing them to complain because, you know, these chances only come along every few years and oh, there's thousands of people registered to do the test and only a couple of hundred jobs. So it's not like I'm expecting to, to get a job, but it would be nice to to challenge myself and set the test um, and if I'd turned up with half an hour to go and couldn't find it again you can live with that kind of mistake but two hours wandering around 20 phone calls 30 people asked I'm not really sure what more I can do than that to be honest so yeah, we'll see what happens anyway I'll maybe record a little bit if I do actually find it bye